What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Josh of JTM Racing. What's going on? So we're going to be working on the Impala today. I know we haven't worked on the Impala at all on the channel yet, but we're going to start now. So I picked up a super badass, all black, mesh grill, no bow tie, just solid mesh. Looks super clean, super mean. Got it for 50 bucks, free shipping off eBay. So that's an easy install. And then I also picked up a full set of blue LEDs for the headlights. High beams, low beams, and the fog lights. I picked those up for $29.99, free shipping. And those are going to look super sick as well. So let's get to it. Let's hook the Impala up. Just so you know what OEM factory looks like. You got your stock bulbs that aren't too bright. The new ones are going to be a lot brighter. And they're also going to be a little bit blue, like a blue tint. And you got your stock OEM grill that has a little bit of chrome, has the Chevy bow tie, that's all gonna be gone. It's gonna be solid black mesh. Looks a lot cleaner. And those blue LEDs I got, those are off eBay as well. But yeah, let me show you the parts I got. All right guys, so here's the grill. Super sick. It's really thick, durable, just, good quality I'm super happy with it we'll see how long it lasts it should last quite a while and then uh, here's your bulbs so you got your high beams your low beams and then your fog lights very simple let's get this shit on so the first thing we're gonna start off with is removing the grill and putting the new grill on super simple should be just these three clips this one here this one here this one here we're just going to prime out with a little flathead and then you pop them out we'll clean the underside of the grill where the bumper is and then we'll put the new grill on that simple guys so there's a couple more spots tabs that mount the grill to the bumper and they have little metal clips they're kind of a pain in the ass to get off but not too bad so right here and right here you get these off first pull the grill out you'll see them they have these little metal barbed clips that you kind of have to bend them to get them to slide off you can do it with the flathead but they go around these little pins or tabs whatever you want to call them on the centerpiece of the grill but it's out so let's get the new one in All right guys, so I guess it's not that simple. We're gonna have to do a couple modifications, but it's nothing too serious. So, first, this little tab that's dead center in the middle of the bumper where the old grill was, we need to shave this off. Probably just gonna clip it off, take it off with the razor blade, nothing too crazy. And then these two holes right here, where the clips go, I'm gonna drill them out where they're more of an oval so I can get the clips to pop in because they do not want to pop in because the grill is so tight it won't go back far enough now this one does have the tabs for these it's gonna be so tight I'm not putting these clips back on 
I just don't feel like it's necessary. So, eh, let's get to it. Booyah, that was super easy. So I took that little tab off with the razor blade. It was super easy, super simple, not hard at all. And then I drilled two new holes in the brace that those clips go into to hold the grill there. Right here and right here. I drilled them directly in front of the old ones. This thing isn't going anywhere super tight snug and it looks good let's close this hood real quick and close this door hell yeah that looks a lot meaner than the factory grill I'm digging it so much more well the grill is done let's move on to the bulbs all right guys so we're going to change the bulbs tomorrow it's getting a little late out and i don't want to rush but this aftermarket grill looks clean oh that makes the impala look so much meaner But yeah, we'll continue tomorrow. All right, everybody, so it's the next day. It's actually pretty decent out, a little overcast. But yeah, we're gonna do the bulbs on these headlights and these fogs. Uh, very simple fog lights. There's just a screw over here and it should slip out on the other end. And then the headlights, you got literally two clips. One here. One here and the whole headlight will come out very simple so let's do this So they're all out, very easy, very simple. Now I'm gonna wipe these down, wipe the fogs down, switch out all the bulbs. I got them all laid out here. So the ones with the tags, 9006s, these are gonna be for my low beams. These should be 9005s, so for my highs. And then here's for the little fogs. So let's get to it.
right guys so i got the bulbs and the headlights and the fog lights i wiped them down i didn't go too crazy on them just because they are going to be replaced in the future one of the fog lights has a crack in it and then the headlights they have a bunch of little hairline cracks and they're faded they just all need to be replaced so i'm not going to go too crazy or spend too much time on them uh, one thing i'm not going to put these dust boot covers back over the factory bulbs and the reason why is because these bulbs are super bulky so they don't fit over i would have to put a slit in the middle of them with a razor just to get them to flex and i was going to do that to kind of protect them from dust and i was looking at the leds they do have little fans to keep them cool so i want those exposed so they can get as much air as possible so i'll keep those covers just in case i decide to put them on later but i'm not going to put them on but yeah so I did wipe down where the headlights go. I'm gonna wipe down where the fog lights go. And let's put them back in. Alright guys, so we got them all in, let's check them out, oh those look cool, let's turn it on, turn on the fogs, Hell yeah. The high beams are flickering though. I might have to get an extra piece for those. I've heard about those having issues. We'll just have to see. I mean, they are working. It just looks like they flicker a little bit when the main headlights are on. They look super good. And Paula definitely got a facelift. Got that grill. Got these cool blue LEDs. Before we end this video, when it gets a little darker out, we'll go take a drive so you guys can see how bright they are at night. But I'm happy. It's sick. But if you can see... High beams flicker a little bit, it stopped. You see that? If anyone knows what I can do about that, let me know. Willie, who owned this car originally, actually said something to me about that, about the LEDs flickering. He said there's an extra piece that, uh, you add in and it fixes that issue. 
just because it's drawing a different amount of power. So I'll talk to him a little bit more about that. But yeah, definitely happy. All right, guys. So I don't know if you notice how bright they are. That's with the fogs on. But they're definitely a lot brighter than the OEM bulbs or the factory bulbs. I'm kind of in a parking lot with some light, so it doesn't do justice. Come on, let's go. But yeah, they're pretty bright. I'm definitely happy with them. When it's like pitch black out, they light up the whole street. I would definitely go this route. They're just as bright as HIDs. You just don't have to worry about the ballast. Um, a lot easier to install. You're not trying to hide the ballast. You're not trying to zip tie wires. I mean, I would rock HIDs. I always have, but this is just an easier, cheaper way of getting that same quality lighting. But yeah, look how bright they are. You can just see it on the back of this Mazda. That's driving slow as hell. about to pull in in the casa whoa all right guys I'm gonna let you get another look of it since it's darker out but yeah it looks pretty good they are super bright that grill is sick but yeah that's it for this video if you haven't yet please subscribe to my youtube channel leave likes comments and uh yeah that's it for this video, guys. Peace.